Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Virgo. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the second week of December, so December 6th through December 12th. So we're just going to see what comes up. Remember that the timing is still fluid. I've done one for the first week of December, if you want to watch that. I've also done a December reading, an overall December reading for Virgo, which I will attach to the end of this. But for the second week of December, let's get started. Overall energy for the week, your love life, and, you know, whatever comes up with the cards. So what do we have for Virgo? Overall energy for the week. Morning card, please. I think you're really investing. You're working on your money. You're saving. You know, that's your main focus right now, is saving your money, focusing on your, or your health, okay? Uh, maybe you're focusing on a business or a job or financial stability. I think that's the focus of the week. Stuck energy. So you are stuck. You are stuck right now. Uh, this is stuck in the mud. You're in a situation which is keeping you stuck. You probably need some help to get out of it or you need to make up a plan. If you see a rainbow, it means that, you know, uh, something good is coming and you may have been through some stormy weather, but the storm is over, obviously, or the rainbow wouldn't be out. So, or it's just about over. Usually the rainbow comes out when the rain is just about to end. You know, it may have been pouring or... You know, things were uh, stormy, but I think it's just about over for you. Um, you may be stuck right now, but I don't think you're going to be stuck for long because I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't see that happening. I feel like um, you're about to get out of this rut. You are, or the rainbow wouldn't be here. So you're about to get yourself out of a rut that you have been in. You've been in a situation, right, that has been uh, disheartening by the looks of things. You probably feel down on your luck, like, why does this shit keep happening to me, you know, that kind of thing. You may have just been in the wrong place at the wrong time, or you may have just been in a situation that, uh, you know, just bad luck. Looks like bad luck to me. There we go. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your pa parents. And that doesn't have to be parents. It can be a lover. It can be anybody. When you're healing, it could be your children. You know, um, but there's a need to heal family is issues this week. It could have something to do with a separation or a breakup or something like that. It may have something to do with a father. Okay, because I see a father and I see children. I don't see the mother. So there's some sort of healing that needs to happen between you and your parents or your children and yourself or something like that. Um, so, yeah. Interesting. So what do we have for Virgo for the week ahead? What do we have for Virgo for the week ahead? December 6th to the 12th. May find themselves in a pickle, but may give you this pickle or wherever it may give you time to think, to think about your life, you know, and how you got to where you are. You know, everything that happens in our life builds our character and makes us into the person that we are. So I feel this stuck energy is a time of enlightenment, actually.
Okay, so I think that there's some sort of separation here. On the bottom of the deck is a lover's card. So you may be focusing on a separation. If there has been one or if there's going to be one, that may be your main focus. You know, when you get the when you get the lovers reverse, there's conflict, there's disharmony in a partnership, or there's a disconnection, there's one sidedness, there's and there could be an upcoming separation if you're not giving attention you know, to your partner. And I, for some of you, I feel like that is what that is. I feel like your, your, your partner is looking for attention and, or whoever it is that, you, that is focusing on you or you're focusing on them. Somebody's looking for attention. It feels like you're burying yourself in your work or something like that. Um, as far as your work life goes, your work and money, I feel like uh, you, you may be feeling, I don't know if you got some sort of paranoia there or if you feel like you're not going to be successful. Um, I feel like you're headed in the right direction. I feel like things are going to grow for you in your, your money sector, your work sector. But right now you have to work, 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 work. And that's exactly what you're doing. So I feel like this week you are, and you really don't have um, any desire to focus on a partnership by the looks of things. That's the way I see it. I feel like right now uh, you're overwhelmed. I think that you're blocking your emotions. Uh, and I'm going up here. I think you're blocking your emotions because you have your focus on something else. Um, you're trying to keep things under control, right? You're trying to keep things under control. You're not wanting to give your power away to anybody or give your energy away. You may be feeling depressed or feeling depleted or... Uh, I'm just not feeling well, not up to par, put it that way, as far as going to work, you may not have any desire to work, it's like, oh, I don't really want to this week, you know what I mean, you don't believe in yourself, as far as your job goes, I think that you need to have faith, okay, for some of you, it feels like you are, I mean, we got that world card reverse, covering the strength card, that is, re to me, that's, that is, uh, well, it could be upright, it is, that isn't, yeah, I feel like it is an upright, it's an ending, and this one is reversed, so, it's an ending, that isn't, an, you're, something is, a, there is something that is ending in your life, it's a major completion, but you need, to, there's fear, there's fear of, of something, fear of, of doing something different, you need to go after your passion, go after what you are passionate about, passionate about. This is act now, think later, just do it. This is uh, accepting the truth, unblocking, unblocking your emotions. You need to unblock your emotions. There's a level of indecision here in regards to your job. It's like you're not, and you're refusing to see something from a new perspective. I feel like there's there's some sort of inner doubts or there's lack of confidence or lack of something inside of you that is holding you back from success. You need to believe in yourself. Just whatever it is that you are thinking about doing, just do it. Just do it. Don't don't hold back. Don't hold back. I feel like one of your life lessons is inner strength. You need to find inner strength and maybe it's healing because if you think about strength reverse, that's that's a need to heal. You whatever and but this is money and, and job area of your life. I feel like you will be successful if you can believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. Have faith in your abilities, okay? That's what I mean. Have faith in yourself. So anyway. I feel like you guys have this new vision, but you're fearful of doing it. Just do it. Whatever it is, whatever this vision is, whatever this desire is, whatever this this thing is that you are blocking yourself from doing, just do it, okay? It will be successful. That's in money or or work or whatever. There's something, but, but right, I don't feel like it's going to bring you money right away because you don't have the, oh, well, you get the strength card reverse. That's lack of courage. That's fear. Fear is getting in the way of success. So however that resonates with you. Um, some of you may be thinking about separating from your job, you know, or doing something different. If that's, if you're not passionate about your job, then maybe that's what you need to do. Anyway, down here in your love arena, okay, I feel like you are waiting for something. You're waiting for something to happen. Um, 
there could be some unfinished business here with somebody. Um, there's somebody that is very dissatisfied. Very, very, very dissatisfied. Not happy. There's no growth. I feel like there's a, there's a relationship that isn't growing. There's a partnership that isn't growing. I feel like there's a connection, but it, it feels like it's, it's, it's more of a crush. You know, it's more of a crush. It's more of a, um, it's like at the beginning, you know, I, there's, there's no growth. There's no growth in a partnership. And I feel like there's no growth because, uh, there's so much, there's lack of foresight, there's so much focus on the future, on the future endeavors that, that you're missing an opportunity, you're missing an, op I feel like you're missing an opportunity with a partner, I'm just being honest with you, this is a missed opportunity, it's like you're, you're, you're so focused on, you know, your future, you know, your future, but I think you're focused on your future prosperity put it that way you're focused on your future you know worth you know and I'm talking about financial worth instead of your partner so I feel like that's why there could be a separation and it could be some and this could even be somebody new that has entered your life or somebody that wants to communicate with you somebody that wants to express their feelings to you or has is trying to express their feelings to you and you're not reciprocating it feels like there's lack of reciprocation here you may be trying to protect yourself as well. You may be getting prepared to go someplace. Maybe you're getting prepared to leave. This is getting prepared. Or you're waiting for somebody else to arrive. You're waiting. But this is the full reverse is foolish behavior. It's bad timing. Somebody may be trying to woo you and say all kinds of nice things, you know, and you're just... It feels like you don't have the desire to... Uh, open up to them and I feel like because you don't have the desire to open up to them you could you know this person may make another choice because this is a card of choice somebody that you're dealing with may be may have another option and they may choose the other option because you are so invested in your work or your money or whatever it is you're not giving them the attention that they need I think your work and your job and your money and your bank account is getting your main attention. And I know that I've repeated that, but it's something that you really need to hear. So I think that there could be disharmony in a partnership because of it. And the partnership is not growing. This is very dissatisfying. Whoever you are dealing with uh, is thinking about giving up, I think. I think. And I think they may have another option. I feel like they may have another option. They may even be... Um, flirting with somebody else you know there's some flirting here going on uh, I don't know I, there's definitely some flirting going on and I feel like uh, you need to really really open your eyes you need to open your eyes and see that you have something right in front of you I feel like there's subconscious self-protection here it feels like you you have your defenses up and, and I feel like that's you protecting yourself pushing somebody away and maybe it goes all the way back to your childhood it goes back to lack of love from I don't know your parents could be your father could be your mother I, I don't know Anyhow, down in your mentality, I feel like you're really, really, really struggling. I think that you're tired. I think that you're worn out. I think that you're overwhelmed. I think you are very, very, very overwhelmed. I feel like uh, maybe you, you're having a hard time uh, keeping up, you know? I just feel like you're tired. I feel like you're wishing for prosperity. You're hoping for prosperity. You're doing a lot of praying. Um... I think that you are you know you're, you're healing from something you're healing from something I feel like you're a star I do you're a star with that star card here you're a star you, and you like to and you're, and you're shining and you're glowing but you're losing something as well with that ace of pentacles reversed you may be, you may be um, not being practical, not being realistic, you know. Maybe you're hoping and praying for long term, you know, something. You're, you're praying for something very big, okay, but it's material. 
there's some sort of material investment here that you're praying for that I feel like it's not realistic. It's not the most important thing in life. And I feel like because you're focusing on that so much, you're missing an opportunity for a partnership with somebody that is, I feel like this person is looking someplace else because you're not giving them the attention that they need. Um, I think your your job is your main focus. I feel like you're tired. I feel like you're exhausted. I feel like you're fed up or somebody else's that you're dealing with. I feel like um, there's a poor judgment here. I feel like you're making, and, and I hate to say this because I'm Virgo rising, with that uh, fool card, that fool card reverse is poor judgment, making a poor judgment call. There, get prepared. There could be a departure. Okay, there could be. For some of you, it, there could be an arrival. There could, for some of you, there could be somebody that starts flirting with you. You know, they, if you're single, say you're single, or even if you're married, you know how it goes. There could be a new suitor here that starts flirting with you. This person, uh, maybe an admirer, could be a secret admirer or somebody like that. They're flirting. It's bad timing. It's bad timing. You don't have time for this right now. It feels like you don't have time for this. You got you got other things to do, and it has to do with building your financial stability. That's the way I see it. You're not really interested, or you don't have time to invest in a partnership. So I feel like this week, um, there could be a loss. I'm just being honest with you. For some of you, it could even be a uh, it's a big loss of some sort because this is this is in your health sector. Okay, this is a big loss of something, and I don't know if it's a loss of money or it's a loss of somebody you are holding on to. This person, somebody has another choice in love, so I feel like there's there there could definitely be a uh, a sudden departure. You know, somebody could suddenly leave or suddenly, you know, uh, go in another direction. So, and I I think that you can change it though. I feel like you can change it if you can. Uh, let go of fear and open yourself up you really need to open yourself up and, and it's subconscious protection that's exactly what it is it's like I'm gonna protect myself from this you know I'm gonna I'm gonna bury myself in my job and my work and, and focus on everything but this and and if it doesn't grow it doesn't grow at least I'm protected anyhow um, I see you really 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 um, it's almost like being naive you know not seeing not seeing something you're so focused on you know going somewhere and I feel like it's financially you know that you're you're missing an opportunity for love this week I do believe you're going to be receiving a message or messages from somebody but I don't feel like you're going to invest I don't feel like you're going to invest so this person is probably going to choose another option um Yeah. My my advice is to really 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 open your eyes. What's most important to you? Now, the star card is a card of beauty. It's a card of creativity. It's a card of renewal. It's a card of hope. It's a card of healing. An unexpected help. And I feel like I said, help is going to arrive. I feel like some sort of help is is arriving. It's like somebody is coming to help you. Let them in. They can help you to heal. So yeah, I feel like this is a week of, you know, you needing to make a choice and really reevaluate your priorities by the looks of things. And reevaluate why you are not opening up. Is it because of your parents? Is it because of your father? Is it because of your mother? Is it because of your ex? Why are you, why 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 can't you open up? With that two of swords reversed up there, it's like see the truth. Something, some sort of you're gonna, you're gonna, and I think that you are. I think that you're gonna see the truth, be, and I feel like you could see the truth because 
I don't know if there's good, if somebody leaves, somebody could, you know, make an impulsive decision to go towards another, another option. Just saying. So anyway, I feel a very overwhelming energy here. You know, I think that you need to stop being emotionally guarded. Have faith. This may be what you've been wishing for. This is a wish being granted. You may have been wishing for somebody to love you or something like that but it feels like you just can't see it this is some this is a lost opportunity a missed opportunity of something that could have lasted right it could have been long term but i feel like you're throwing it away so i feel like this is a week of you know really reevaluating somebody that is interested in you. Maybe you need to give them a little bit of attention before you lose them. Good luck. <laughs>